What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing you Ravens content. We're back. Training camp is back, but this isn't necessarily Baltimore Ravens training camp news. This is Brandon Ayuk news. The star wide receiver from the San Francisco 49ers reportedly, I believe first NFL Network, ESPN, I think has confirmed it, has requested a trade from the 49ers. Now, I will say the expectation is that he wants to go pair up with his former college teammate, Jaden Daniels, in Washington. But a lot of people, a lot of Ravens fans, including myself, are big fans of Brandon IU. But I want to talk about the logistics of why the Ravens can and cannot make a trade for the wide receiver. Now, first off, I want to say this with no hesitation. If the Ravens could get Brandon Ayuk, or if someone asked me, do you like Brandon Ayuk? I'd say absolutely. I love Brandon Ayuk. I'm a huge supporter of his game. I was all about him before this year, like his entire career. I've been a big advocate of Brandon Ayuk because I feel like he's a very good player. I think he's the number one wide receiver, fantastic after the catch, good route runner, gets open, good enough hands, like not, not you know, prime fits, but he doesn't drop the ball too much. He's athletic. He can really do it all, not to mention he's one of the best blocking wide receivers of the last decade. So you have this type of player, right? And you have the Baltimore Ravens in a situation where I think a lot of people would love for them to add a wide receiver one after they didn't address the position in the draft. And we go, hey, what are we doing? I think we did address the wide receiver position in the draft. I do want to say Tez Walker. We didn't address it early in the draft. Don't want people to freak out in the comments. But I think overall with Brandon Ayuk, the biggest question is going to be, can we make the money work? And this year, yeah, you could probably get the money to work. But if we're paying him an extension, right? And Brandon Ayuk is a star wide receiver. Currently, star wide receivers are making 20 to $30 million a year. And that number is just, it goes up every time. So the next contracts could be $35 million a year, which is insane, but I don't think he'll get 35. He'll probably get like $25 million a year though. Are we in a situation where we're willing to make that payment when we haven't even found out what this Ravens offense looks like with Derrick Henry? I don't necessarily think so. Now, if you're willing to make that risk and say like, Hey, we can sacrifice one of those defensive players or sacrifice a, a Mark Andrews contract and, and things like that. And you don't want to extend a couple of guys. Sure. You can make the money work, but in my opinion, being able to maintain those defensive players, those guys like Kyle Hamilton, right? He's going to be coming up on a contract, at least the fifth year extension. He's going to be coming up on in a couple of seasons. We're going to have Brandon Stevens in a contract year. Um, we're going to have not Roquan Smith, but you know, who's the backup to Roquan. If it's, if it's Trenton Simpson, that's fantastic. But if it's not, okay, we have to go look elsewhere to, you know, to sign someone Adafi away. Are we extending him? Right. David Ojabo. Are we extending him? There's just so many guys in this defense, um, that I'm looking at and I'm like, Hey, is it really worth it to sacrifice one of those, defensive positions in order to get a wide receiver for me personally i don't think so i'm a, I'm a person i'm a ravens fan i think a lot of people are like this not all ravens fans are but i like to build through the defense i like to get a star studded defense and then have a control the clock offense which the ravens have to be able to win football games now it helps when you have lamar jackson i think the ravens can absolutely win a super bowl with lamar jackson but i think having an elite defense alongside the explosiveness and playmaking ability of Lamar Jackson and Zay Flowers, I think is more, more worthwhile than sacrificing a key element of that defense for Brandon Ayuk, who again, I think is really good, but I think Zay Flowers could develop into a top 15 wide receiver in the next couple of years. And if we're paying Brandon Ayuk, who's maybe top 10, um, maybe just outside the top 10, maybe, you know, 14 through 11 sure is it worth paying two wide receivers like that or is it more worth it to have an elite running back you know good offensive line remember this is a really young offensive line where we're gonna have to pay this offensive line right you know we've got Daniel Falele battling for a spot 
we have uh, we have a lot of people battling for a lot of different spots that I don't think that the Ravens necessarily want to pay. Because if you want to pay those types of positions, you want to pay those players, you're not going to be able to spend on outside talent, right? I think the best example is you look at the Oklahoma City Thunder. I'm a Thunder fan. Sorry. Best example I can think of. But they're a team where they felt like they were one player away from a championship. So it's worth it to overpay in that situation. I think the Ravens right now are at the level where like the expectation should be to win the Super Bowl. Not necessarily that it's a 50-50 chance to win it or not, but I think like, hey, they have the talent. Absolutely. There's no holes on this team. They can win the Super Bowl. I don't think you necessarily want to overpay now for something else when you're in that situation. But OKC, they're in a spot where they're like, hey, we need a backup center or we need rebounding. We'll pay Isaiah Hartenstein a lot of money to get out of New York and come play with us. I don't think the Ravens are in that spot. I think a team like the the Houston Texans were in that spot when they went after a Stephon Diggs. I don't like going for star players when you're already star players that you're going to have to pay. I'm totally fine if they're on an expiring contract or anything like that. Sure. But you're not trading for IU to let him go um, because he's going to run a, want a contract if he gets traded somewhere. But I think the other thing is Brendan Ayuk doesn't really want to come here. He wants to play with Jane Daniels and he definitely wants to get the football. And this Ravens offense, whether we like it or not, it's not necessarily the most wide receiver statistically friendly offense in the league. Because I don't think the Ravens are going to have a 1,300-yard receiver. I just don't think that's what the offense is built for. But, again, if the Ravens are able to make it happen, I'm going to be super stoked. If they aren't, totally fine. But I just don't think it logistically makes much sense. Um, And when you're looking down the line of the Baltimore Ravens and their payroll – I don't know if it's necessarily the right decision. Let me know in the comment section down below, though. What would you offer for Brandon Ayuk? Do you think that the Niners trade him? And do you think he gets paired up with his buddy from college in Jaden Daniels? Thank you all so much. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you again next time.